Hello again, I am Jim Bob, and welcome back to another episode of F1 Manager Challenge Mode. Uh, it's race three of our second season here with Aston Martin. Uh, we're heading to Albert Park in Melbourne for the Australian Grand Prix. And we're coming off the back of a, uh, a disappointing race at, uh, at Jeddah. Uh, we had uh, a decent opportunity at one point for, uh, for a points finish, but... Uh, Unfortunately, our drivers kind of let us down a little bit. Hopefully, uh, things will go a little bit better for us tonight. We shall see. Right. Let's uh, go straight to our performance targets. because We got all the uh, housekeeping out of the way last night. Let's see. Uh both cards in Q2 is the incentive. That should be straightforward enough. We're going to try and get both into the top 12. And we'll try and get at least one into Q3. Finish position, uh, we're going to go two in the top 12. And obviously our streaks are as they are. Welcome to Melbourne for a weekend of fierce competition. We're a stone's throw from the beach here at the Albert Park Circuit. It might be party mood in the grandstands, but in the paddock, expectations and tensions are high. The Albert Park circuit is bursting with rapid corners and a long straight where drivers can push their speed to the limits. Good attention to medium speed downforce will likely make beating this beast of a track just a little bit easier. At this early stage in the season, there are still plenty of opportunities for things to change. In this sport, there simply are no guarantees. There's nothing like a race weekend in Formula One. Okay, so we've got another dry race, uh, clean skies, nice and uh, sunny weather on Friday, a bit cloudy on the on uh, qualifying and race day, but uh, pretty straightforward weather-wise. Uh, let's start off by having a look at the sliders. Uh, and they are slightly more extreme on Freddy's car by the look of it. So, let's have a look in the book of setups. Uh, we're going to go with an 8 and a 13 for this one. Let's go 8-2. Uh, 2.85. And a point one oh, and for Melbourne, we want to go 18 laps because that's pretty much all we'll be able to manage uh, on a standard run on soft tires before they start falling apart. And let's set up uh, Felipe's car now. Uh, we're going to go slightly different on this one, we're going to go with a 7.5. And a 13, a 7, 3, uh, a 3.15, and a 0.5. Let's see how these setups work. Radio check. Radio check. It's green now. Okay, speed some time up. So as always, uh, with challenge mode, uh, we do have a set of self-imposed regulations 
that we have to adhere to on top of obviously the the, the in-game rules uh, if you do want a complete list of those they are in the video description down below and we're also keeping track of our progress against those limitations as well uh, we have already done one major uh, rear wing and one major front wing upgrade the front wing is still in development but we've yeah, we've done one of each on the uh, on the wings for major developments and we're only allowed one more of each this season now uh, we haven't done an underfloor yet that will be the next major development that we'll be starting on and that'll be uh going through or we'll be starting that just after Imola, i think if memory serves correct uh that will hopefully give us a nice big performance boost on the car sounds like we've had a spin our car itself is pretty decent, uh, a little let down by its drivers at the moment. They are still both young, experienced, coming in or doing any more? only had one season under their belt so far. Uh, 76, that's not a good start for Vesti. It's going to need a lot of tweaking there. How does it feel? 97 though for Felipe, that is... Uh, Excellent stuff, so just a minor tweak and that car will be perfect. So let's go ahead and make those little tweaks that we need. Just need to change the front wing angle. I'm going to go with an 8. Let's see if that's the right way to go. Let's put on a fresh set of tyres. We've got to drop the run plan down by a lap as well. There we go. And for Freddy, it's going to take a bit more work on this one. So we need to change the uh, rear wing angle. And we need to change the roll bar. Is that going to be enough across the board? Let me try that. See how that works. See, is anyone running a? Uh, yeah, uh, someone is running a uh, reserve driver. McLaren are running Nick De Vries by the look of it. Anyone else running a reserve? Uh, nope, just McLaren. Reese is actually uh, running slightly faster than Ricardo right now. That's uh, interesting to see. I wonder if that's a tyre thing. No, they were both on the same tyre. Okay, good improvement for Vesti, but it's still not enough. There's still more work to do. Oh, Felipe is trying to go for the pits. Let's cancel that to keep him out. And Freddy as well. How 
How's the balance? All right, just need to tweak that to one little click, and that'll be there. So what do we still need to do here? Oh, okay, cornering is definitely the wrong way. That needs to go to about there by the look of it. Uh, that should hopefully sort the front wing out as well. Uh, we are going to have to massively change the toe back to there. Uh, now we need to change the roll bar as well. So it's going to be a 6-4 roll bar. And so we're looking at that. I think that's going to be the setup. We'll find out in the next session. Uh, Felipe carried on. He didn't pit in. That means he may well run out of fuel before he gets back to the pits. Not ideal, but... Actually, he might just make it. Yeah, he'll make it just. And let's go ahead and make that little tweak to the toe. Uh, let's go that way. See if that's the right way. Alright, so we've already tweaked the setups, so we can go straight onto the tyres and the run plan. So I'm going to go with uh, 24 laps, I think. Let's go, no, let's go 25 laps. 25 laps should be fine. Alright, so fingers crossed, both of these will be 100% at the end of this run. It does seem like Vesti's pace has definitely picked up since we got his braking above 70. Oh, a spin. He's now within about a tenth of his teammate, as opposed to being about three tenths off where he has been normally. That's really encouraging to see because I've always believed that Vesti will be the better driver of the two uh, once he's had enough development in his pace stats because he's better everywhere else. And we're, we're starting to see some evidence of that. The fact that he's closed the gap down to just a tenth and he's still 10 points off in braking is very encouraging.
Okay, 97%. So we need a little tweak on that one. I can do that for the next session. Did we go the right way on uh, Felipe's car? Yes, we did. Excellent. Think? And there we go, a good session. So what do we need to tweak here? Uh, it's the cornering. So let's try doing that. It's gonna break a few things. Let's try going the other way. Yeah, that looks a little bit healthier. There we go. Verstappen and Perez looking pretty evenly matched pace-wise. Uh, they're both on soft tyres as well. So it looks as though Perez has had the upgrades that Max had at the start of the season now. Ferrari appeared to have closed the gap a bit as well. Oh, we have a crash. Uh, Stroll is out. Did he hit anyone else, or did he just go into a barrier? It said multiple cars crashed, so who did he hit? Or who hit him? It's Lance Stroll. Oh, it's Schumacher, I think. Yeah, straight into the back of him. That is a serious collision. That's a big old shot. That's definitely a penalty for Schumacher. And it's going to be a change of engine for Stroll as well. Okay, final session to go. Here we are, back. I'll go on to the. Uh, actually, I think I might keep the uh, the mediums. Keep an extra set. We're going to do another run on softs. Hopefully I can get 25 laps out of these tyres before they melt. We're going to try and keep the uh, extra set of mediums in reserve for the race, just in case there's a, a safety car at a weird time. Soft tyres don't Radio last very long here. Radio check. It's green now.
Okay, so we are just about going to hit 100% at the end of the runs. That's excellent stuff. Just got to hope the tyres hold on long enough. They should do. Of course, we need the final feedback on Vesti as well. It should come through any moment. Oh, we've gone the wrong way. thoughts on coming in or doing any more? Okay, let's um, let's call him in and correct that while we have the opportunity. Cancel those changes. Car setup. So I think I have reverted back to a 97 now. I'm not sure actually. Uh, it's just tricky to figure out exactly where I am. I might have overcorrected there. So a little bit of trouble getting uh, Freddy uh, set up for this one. Felipe is absolutely nailed. He's sorted. Let's see if I got it right with uh, those changes that we've just made. we're going to have another really really close race again i think the field will spread out a little bit more on this circuit just given the nature of it It is a circuit that is very demanding in terms of cornering pace. Uh, you need to have really good downforce uh, generation to get the best out of this circuit. This is one way we traditionally in the past would see, you know, the Red Bulls and the Ferraris just sprint off into the distance and everyone else kind of drop back quite quickly. Don't know if we'll see that this time round. don't know if that is enough. I'm going to send him back out just the last couple of minutes. Just to complete the feedback. 99. That's close enough. We're not going to mess around with that. It still gets him his full bonus. The checkered flag is now out. Even if fair. I didn't even know England were playing tonight. I've kind of completely lost track of football this season. Right, uh, do we need to swap any parts over? Uh, no, gearboxes are, and engines are fine. So let's go qualify. Radio check. Radio check.
gonna have to be really really careful with our uh, with our tires here since we use extra softs in practice we've only got two sets of tires to get us through the first two sessions so it's going to be a single run in each session probably just got to hope we get a clean run here I probably should have waited till the end of the session it's too late now Looks like we are going to get that clean run though, that is important. And there we go. So that'll be enough to get us through this session. Let's see how far off the uh, top of the timing sheets we are. does look at first glance as though this is going to be a comfortable race for Red Bull and then it's it's just really tight there is there is no um, top three at the moment you've got Red Bull who are clearly ahead and then you've got Ferrari Mercedes Alpine, us, Alfa Romeo, even McLaren, all kind of in the mix for third, for, well, for second and third. percent of our tire life that's a bit rough we'll do a scrub run at the start How old is the controller, Farah? Is it still within warranty? Because if it is, get in touch with Sony because it sounds like you've got a faulty battery rather than, you know, just something wrong with, you know, with the controller in general. 47 minutes is appalling. You know, my controllers last hours and hours and hours. I get a, a, a good eight, eight to 10 hours out of my pads. And they are nearly two years old. Uh, he also two years as well. Yeah, the um, I'm not sure if about the red one, but I know that the Galactic Purple. Uh, the ones that were released around uh, at that in, in that second wave, they had slightly improved springs in the triggers as well. Uh, slightly different stick configuration modules as well. So they were a slightly revised, you know, improved version of the pad. Uh, I don't know whether the red was in the first wave of colours or if that was in the uh, the same wave as the Galactic Purple. But if you get the choice go for a, a second color wave one
uh, they're not exclusive to game. Um, yeah, they're, they're the Galactic Purple range. Uh, but there were there were like two or three colours released initially, including the black. I think the first ones were black and red. And then they did a second drop of colours, which was Galactic Purple and something else. I can't remember what it was. Uh, what the second one was. Um, you want to get one from that second wave of colours. Alright, here we go. Get our quali laps out of the way. See if we can squeeze Vesti into the top 10. Should be able to, I think, with uh, brand new tyres. It, it'll be close. Felipe will definitely make it. But uh, Freddy is the question mark. Okay, Magnuson just improved by over three tenths. So he's up there, obviously going out on new, newer tyres. This could be a lot tighter than I thought. Ocon's jumped up to second, but he's not going to stay there. Ah, Verstappen improves by four tenths. A lot of time being found at the moment. Everyone's improving. What can Vesti do as he crosses the line? He goes 10th, which means he's going to get knocked down into 11th by his teammate. Yep, there we go. But still pretty tight, though. There's a little bit more spaced out than we've seen in previous races. A slightly bigger spread, but uh, still relatively close in the grand scheme of things. Uh, we are going to have to run in the final session. I want to keep new tyres. I don't think we're going to improve on 10th, so I'm just not going to run Felipe at all in the final session. I don't think we're going to improve on 10th. There's no point wasting tyres. So we'll sit this session out. Even though Mr. Water... Green light, green light. Yeah, we'll sit this one out and we'll just uh, stay in the garage. We'll stay 10th. And that way we'll have a brand new set of softs available for the race if we get a very late safety car. Okay, that's a very interesting looking grid there. So Verstappen takes pole from Perez, then Alonso, Hamilton, coming across the line now, stays in fourth. Alonso in P3, Ocon P5. Look at the Ferrari, 7th and 8th. Ferrari really struggling this season for some reason. 
I don't think uh, Leclerc is going to be defending his title this season. Are there donuts in NASCAR? Tension continues to build here as race day begins. There was some good work from Aston Martin during the qualifying session, and they will go to the grid full of confidence. McLaren did a decent job during qualifying. This is a solid grid position, and it certainly has the potential to lead to good race results. And the sun is shining bright here. I'm going to call him Donuts. This is perfect weather for teams and drivers alike to show us what they're capable of. Exciting choices lie ahead then for the teams and their drivers here in Melbourne. So let's see what happens. Okay, so the uh, the two-stop medium hard medium is probably the way to go on this one. Although I might go hard medium medium with Freddy and split them slightly. If we get an early safety car, it might change things. Now we'll stick with the medium hard medium. If we get an early safety car then uh, we'll just have to make do uh, if we get a, a safety car in you know not long after we pit onto the hards we could look at maybe pitting onto another set of mediums and go with a medium 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 having done the uh, the hards for one lap i'm going to actually create the strategy just to uh, prepare for that eventuality let's get rid of those So if we get an early safety car somewhere around about there with that extra set of mediums we saved in practice that means we could look at doing something like that so that's our uh, in case of emergency setup there uh, and uh, let's just amend this one slightly as well There we go. Uh, do I want to take some fuel out on this? How much is it? It's 1.9 per lap. Uh, ooh. No. I don't think we're going to be that far off the pace. I think we'll have to uh, fuel save if we take fuel out. Uh, I am going to go with the aggressive start. On both our cars. Just to try and see if we can sneak a position into uh, turn three. And we are ready to race. As the sun continues to shine, it seems like nothing can dampen the mood of excitement here at the track. Taking a look at the Aston Martin, they might not be in the top three spots, but things could change fast once the race gets underway. There's the second Aston Martin. They'll be starting the race from the bottom half of the grid, so there's a fair bit of ground to make up. Everything's been building to this. Get ready for the Australian Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go. All right. Everyone in front of us is on mediums. We've got jumped by Norris. Hopefully we'll get that position back. You're doing a good job. There we go. Claimed the position back. That's why I wanted the DRS coming out of turn two. That's it. Well, the, the battery, sorry, the ERS. And I think we're going to get ahead of Bottas as well. Yes, we are. Aston Excellent. Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. We're actually being held up by the Ferraris at the moment. I can't believe I'm saying that. What has happened to Ferrari this season? They've just got no real pace. This is 
good. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. Beautiful. Got the move done on Bottas. So, ninth and 10th. We're just outside the points now. And let's calm things down. Drop back a bit. How long have the second wave controllers been out? Oh, yeah, at least a year. Yep. Oh, oh. I think Drogovic is about to take sights. He's got the inside. Let's make sure he gets the acceleration out of the corner. Excellent, there we go. DRS is enabled. Just about killed our battery, but uh, we should. Oh, I don't know, that Ferrari has got a bit more straight line speed than us. Ah, he pulled ahead. Can Felipe get him under braking? It's no, he can't. Yeah, I thought the red and black were the first the first wave of colours, and then I, I wasn't sure if blue and pink were the optionals with the uh, purple. But I do know that the purple was the second wave, and, and that the innards on those controllers were slightly different from uh, the first wave and the, uh, the default launch ones. You're going to go for Galactic Purple. Yeah, good choice. It's, uh, it's a popular one. Uh, a friend of mine who actually bought me my uh, my Edge, he bought himself one of the Galactic Purple pads. He really likes that. And another buddy of mine in Texas when he bought himself a second controller he got himself the galactic purple one as well evening Corey all right so it looks like we're struggling slightly in the dirty air of the Ferrari we are dropping back a touch Or maybe we just don't quite have enough pace. But we are on the verge of being dropped here. And I don't have the battery really to push with Felipe. Let's just check he's not driving in dirty in clean air. No, he's not. That's good. I don't think Vesti is either. Nope. I'm going to get Vesti to start charging up. We just need to charge up. Uh, yeah, Felipe didn't get the uh, the DRS there. Hopefully, he will not hold up Freddy here. I 
he's going to. We're going to end up uh, creating a secondary train here. Points might be a struggle in this Grand Prix. If we haven't got the pace to stay with uh, with the Ferraris, then uh, we certainly haven't got the pace to stay with the Mercedes or the Alpines, which just, you know, the Alpines just seem to be really quick this weekend. Freddie, just commit to the overtake. I need to get you in front of Felipe so I can start charging Felipe, but I don't want to tell Felipe to pull over because he'll lose out to Bottas as well, maybe even Norris. Even to Marcel. Right, this time. No, oh, god damn it, again, he's just not committing for the overtake. There we go. That's more like it. So now we can get Felipe charged back up. Assuming Freddie can actually complete the move here. <laughs> Finally gets the move done. Felipe's going to come back it in with DRS down here. Let's throw it the inside and complete the move, maybe. Felipe got the DRS. And that's enabled Bottas to get past Freddy. Uh, that's not worked out well. A position gained for Alfa Romeo. Yeah, we just seem a little off the pace this weekend. Top 8 finish isn't looking good at the moment unless unless some of the cars in front are going to try and one stop in which case we might be able to uh, make the two stop work to our advantage have better tyres and catch them later on I have to see let's have a look at the uh, predicted strategy for a one-stop as to when they're likely to pit 
so between lap 20 and 26 we can expect to see any cars going that long to be on a one stop but we're in the uh, secondary train here Oh wow, look at that braking there from uh, Bottas, just sweeping around the outside there. Let's focus. Okay, well if Bottas has got the pace, let's see if he can maybe make some inroads and we can get pulled along a little bit. We'll hold position for a while, see what happens. See, Felipe did a 125 last lap. Let's see what we do over the next couple of laps. about a second slower than the uh, the leaders right now those red bulls are just off a uh, private little battle between the two of them Alright, so let's see, what did Bottas do? 125 won, so not faster. About the same kind of pace as that Felipe was doing. Okay, energy's good. So, now that we've got both our guys fully charged again, let's start to see if we can maybe start pushing back up on Bottas again.
we had Bottas in this car, I think we'd probably be about half a second quicker than we are right now. <laughs> That's the difference between a, a, a driver with incredibly good pace stats and a driver with lowish to average pace stats. Drivers do make a huge amount of difference in this game. get Bottas into turn one just about as we're just outside the pit window Aston Martin with a great play there they've moved up a place how we do uh, how we doing on tire wear look yeah not bad about the same as everybody else So Bottas gets stuck behind uh, Felipe here. We might have a chance to get Freddy to, to leapfrog here. He's going to get stuck. Can we get close enough to try and go do a leapfrog? quite through there. What about here? Uh, no, Bottas is going to dive to the inside. And he claims the position. Still a lot to play for. Alfa Romeo just moved up a place. I get really nervous in that corner and also turn three whenever we're on this circuit just because they are the two corners where you get lots of lockup crashes. Cars get, you know, taken out, torpedoed into oblivion. Martin have just gained a race position. Just don't quite have the pace to really capitalize on these DRSs at the moment. And there we go, Perez into the pits, the first to react. And Alonso and Hamilton, so they are all two-stopping, as is Sainz. 
So now we need to pay attention to their teammates. Do they pit in in the next lap or two? As Bottas dives into the pits. And we are going to sprint. For a lap or two. And see if we can overcut. Extract as much as we can out of the last of these medium tyres for, for for this lap. Pick up the pace a bit. Uh, Vesti is going to need to pit first. His tyres are worse. So we'll box him this lap. And we'll box Felipe okay, next box, lap. Box, box, box. All okay on fuel, so you can do what you want for speed. Okay, copy. Ocon pits, so Ocon's two stopping. Verstappen, Russell and Leclerc have all stayed out. The McLarens are staying out. Are we going to see any one stops from any of those guys? managed to jump Alonso then and we got out comfortably ahead of Bottas that is uh, excellent news so we have been able to overcut with Freddy what can we do with Felipe he is uh, pushing the car for all it's worth right now Fuel. Yeah, so, Coffee. crucial pit stop here. And still, the front three and the McLaren staying out. So I'm, I'm starting to sniff a one stop here. That gives us a little bit of hope that we might be able to uh, to jump up, you know, one or two of them. Again, we have comfortably been able to stay away from Bottas, who is all over the back of Freddy. Not a lot I can do about that. We're only a couple of seconds off Alonso. And sights. Alonso's definitely lost out quite heavily. I think he bit, uh, hit the pits just a little bit too early. See if we can leapfrog Bottas can here. Bottas goes defensive. We're just going to go straight around the outside of him here. Oh, he's mighty under braking. 
but we've got DRS and battery deployment. We'll comfortably get away from him now, onto the back of uh, Felipe. Aston Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. We just need to charge up. Copy. And still, the front runners yet to pit. They've got to be going for the one stop. And Norris is on hearts. And Norris now in better shape than Ricardo has been able to jump his teammate. What kind of pace are the front runners doing? They're doing 124.2 for Verstappen, 124.6 or 124 on 9 effectively for Leclerc, 125s for the, for the McLarens. We are closing on some of those guys, but. I don't know. Oh, someone spun. Who spun? Yellow ahead. Who was Leclerc? Look now. Watch this. There's Leclerc. And this. Oh. Yes, this is where they spun out. That has just uh, ruined his strategy a little bit. And the cars that we're chasing down, Alonso and Sainz, etc., they are coming into the back of the hard tyre runners who have yet to stop. Albon hasn't stopped yet either, so he's one stopping as well. So they're starting to get held up by slower traffic. That is enabling us to close the gap up to Alonso and Sainz as well. A little bit of a queue forming in front of us. Hopefully we can cut through these guys relatively quickly and easily. Don't want to get held up while we're uh, trying to hunt down cars for positions here. Just about fully charged on Freddy's car. Get him back into neutral in just a moment.
and Verstappen pits. Yeah, he's definitely in the wi the the window for a one stop. And there goes Ricardo as well. Russell and Leclerc staying out another lap. It's getting crowded in front of us. Go on around the outside. Nope. Backed out under braking. This is definitely hurting Sainz and Alonso, but it's now in a position where it might start hurting us as well. I don't have any battery to really capitalise on that with uh, Felipe. I have to charge him and see if I can get Vesti to push past him. It's going to be hard getting a run on our teammate though. And there we go, Russell and Leclerc into the pits. to find our way through we might just have to hold position here you can see everyone swarming over the back of uh, Magnussen here Leclerc having just come out of the pits right in front of that he's going to start pulling Magnussen along as well potentially so that's going to make it even harder for us to fight our way through here it's so so many cars in such close proximity to each other is going to make passing here nigh on impossible We're not going to get a move done here like this. Get nervous again. So many cars in close proximity breaking hard into turn three. back into neutral we need to start pushing our way through here Need a good run. Use energy. Yep, copy. Ah, uh, just back 
breaking out under breaking again. is like Jeddah all over again. Okay, Sainz has got clear and he's threatening to break away from Magnussen, which means Alonso is going to get him. We need to find a way past Vettel and this might be it, maybe. No, not quite. Vettel's still getting DRS, it's making it so hard for us to actually do anything. Energy if you need it. Can I jump him here? Go around the outside. Yes, there we go. Excellent. Job. Can we capitalize? Get a run on Alonso. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. Alonso is going to sneak through. Can we follow him? We need to. Ah, oh, now we're stuck. Vesti's got through past Vettel as well. I missed that completely. That's it. And you can see it's Sainz and Alonso are just off already. Let's just see uh, Vesti getting past Vettel. Let's have a look. Let's have a look here. This was the Aston Martin. Oh, brave on the brakes. Very brave on the brakes. Good move. And there they go. Moving up a position. Just incredible manoeuvring. the move just here want to get the DRS on the main double DRS straight that'll help propel me up to the back of Alonso ah we're stuck This is just Jeddah all over again. Stuck behind Albon. It's these Alpha Tauris. What is it with us and the Alpha Tauris at the moment? It was Albine, Albon last time out. This time it's Vettel and Magnussen. Let's 
stuck behind Vettel for too many laps. Now we're stuck behind Magnussen as well. Again, stuck. There we go, around the outside. Good job. Good, come on. Now we've got to do it all over again with Freddy. Go on, have a go up the inside. Have a go up the inside. Ugh. Around the outside here would do. Excellent. Completes the move. So we've got both cars past Magnus and now we've got to try and hunt down Alonso, but he's already three and a half seconds up the road. That's how much time we lost in just two laps stuck behind Magnus and there. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. I've got to hope my drivers can uh, really hunt him down. I wanted to be on the back of Alonso. He's one of the cars that we're going to be trying to fight for points against. He was running in uh, in third at one point, I think. Uh, Felipe going defensive. Freddy will just go straight around the outside of him. Excellent stuff. So, gap is around three seconds. Have we got enough pace in the car to close that gap without burning through the battery I'm not so sure we do uh, how long till our pit stops due to pit on lap 40 so another 8 laps to go after this one Norris pits. So we're going to see the hard tyre runners start to pit now. That's Gasly in as well. There goes Magnussen and Vettel. These guys will be coming out on medium, so they're going to be quick. And 
and we are losing a little bit of time. going to be another comfortable race for, for Max I think yeah he's ahead of Perez by 8 seconds Perez has got to pit again for another set of mediums Charge up. Yeah, Switch the charging over. Let uh, Felipe take the lead for a few laps. I think ninth and tenth is the best we can do this weekend. We're going to just miss out on points again. This would have been a great result for us last year. This would have been two cars in the points. Uh, but this season, with the revised points scoring system, this is uh, a big fat zero. I don't think it's the car this time round. I think it's the drivers that's the uh, the problem. They're just not quick enough yet. Like I said, you stick uh, a top-rated driver in these cars, they'll be half a second quicker, easily. Bottas and Ricardo and Norris, they're all hunting us down right now. We've got loads of energy. Final pit stops coming up for us soon. Another few laps. Might have to try and undercut with... Uh, with one of them here. So we're gonna at least close that gap down to Alonso. Or maybe we'd go the opposite way. We could try and overcut them again.
think the undercut's probably going to be the better strategy this time around. Get onto those really fast medium tyres. Happy to push. Copy. Norris is almost on us. Alright, there we go. We should get the move done on Freddy here. Oh, sorry, on Felipe. Uh, Alonso pits. So... The undercut against Alonso is not going to happen. Okay. So we just stay ahead of Norris. Energy's good. Bobby. Do not want to let Norris through. Hold him up as long as we can before we make our pit stops. Because we're going to have to hunt him down and get past him again. And if we can stop him from just sprinting off past us before we pit, that slows him down a good few seconds. Alright, let's box Freddy at the end of this lap. We've got options now if there's another late, if there's another safety car for this race. I would say another, we haven't had one yet, but if there is a safety car, we haven't even had a yellow flag yet, actually thinking about it, I don't think. I don't think anyone's locked up, no one's gone wide. Leclerc had that spin. I think that's it. I think it's the only incident we've had so far this Grand Prix. Been very quiet in terms of... Uh, driver incidents Okay, we've got enough pace to actually hold Norris back when we've both got the DRS, that's good. Yeah, we've got options if there is a safety car. We've got a brand new set of mediums beyond the ones that we're about to put on. And we've also got a brand new set of softs as well. Oh, don't tell me we're stuck behind Albon. At least we're ahead of Vettel, just. But 
uh, yeah, we're a long way off the back of Alonso. We're seven seconds off him. That's Perez pitting. He'll be fast when he comes back out, but he's not going to have enough pace to catch his teammate, I don't think. Ocon pits, Hamilton pits. And Sight pits as well. Gonna have a lunge. Felipe is gonna get out in front. That's good. If he's gonna be vulnerable here. Yeah, take it easy. Yep. All right. So realistically, where can we finish now that the pit stops are out of the way? Uh, Albon is one stopping so he is an obstacle we're going to have to overcome we should be able to make that a relatively easy overtake we've got a significant tyre advantage but we said that before we said that at Jeddah and we got stuck behind him for so long um, Ricardo's one stopping I don't know, I think, yeah, maybe 9th and 10th. Unless something happens to all the cars in front. We're a long way off at the moment. Vettel trying to throw it up the inside. That's very cheeky. Energy if you need Let's it. Use some battery to Love hold it. that off. Good job. Got to clear Albon straight away here. Aston Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. If we don't get him here, we're in trouble. So use energy if you need it. Yeah, All right, we've got him. There we go. So we are through and away. Eight and a half seconds off Alonso. She's good. Who has caught the back of sights. Hopefully those two will squabble and slow each other down. I didn't even realise Freddie was driving in clean air. Must have forgot to turn that off earlier.
Freddy is away. That's good. Come on, swing out, swing out. Oh, look at that. Beautiful move. Oh, I thought we were going to get them both. I thought we were going to get them both then. That's it. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. I'm almost out of battery, I know I am. There we go, up the inside with the DRS. Whew. There we go, we've got Vesti through. But that one extra lap of not being able to get past again has cost us <laughs> three and a half seconds behind our teammate again. We need to charge DRS. So Felipe is doing a 122.5. It's not fast enough to catch Alonso. Oh, hello. Yellow flag in sector three. That's not sector three. That's sector one. That was Gasly. Looks like there's been a lockup. Let's take a look at the replay. Now look at this. It's Pierre Gasly. Just a bit too heavy on the brakes and they've locked up. Stop lifting coast. Gasly is someone we should hopefully be able to hunt down and catch, given the tyre advantage we've got. I'm hoping Ricardo is going to hold up uh, Sainz and Alonso and keep them behind him for a while or give us the chance to maybe get on the back of him and get in the mix for those last points positions Keep an eye on that. I think we've just about managed to break the DRS to Vettel. Finally. Lift and coast will help. Alright, come on Danny Rick. Show us some Aussie grit. You're fighting for a point in your home race here. Yep, science is through. <laughs> There's us in the background just coming around the final corner. So science is away and that is points gone. We don't have the pace to catch science. And Alonso's through and we don't have the pace to catch Alonso either. So uh, yeah, we're fighting for fighting for tenth. That's not good. Is there anyone else up front that we could maybe reel in? 
Uh, the only other guys are at risk at the moment really are Leclerc, Russell, Verstappen, possibly Norris. I mean, he's eight seconds further up the road from uh, from Sainz here. I don't think Norris is going to be someone we can catch either, unless he has to make another pit stop. He did start on the hard, so he might be going hard, medium, medium, or hard, medium, soft. That'll be interesting if he does make a switch to softs. He'll be blisteringly quick at the end if he does. Once again, we're just not quite there. We're going to need that underfloor. Got to get Imler out of the way so that we can uh, start work on that underfloor, get it into production, we'll get it into development. The new front wing should really help us out as well. Uh, that is... Is that going to drop in time for Imola? Or is that a Miami slash Barcelona upgrade? I can't remember when that's due to drop. We are slowly but surely closing in on Gasly. About six tenths of a second, half a second a lap. And a second a lap faster than Ricardo, so we should be able to get uh, fully higher into tenths. Hopefully we can get Vesti into 11th. And then if something happens, if there's a crash between two or three cars in front of us, that forces them to, you know, do a slow lap and box for a replacement front wing or something like that, then we will make the points just. But I think that's the only way we're going to get points out of today. We are getting a clearer picture of where we sit now in terms of pace. It is an improvement on this stage last season where we were very much at the back of the grid, scrapping for 17th at best. We're uh, in and around a top 10 finish. Just outside it at the moment, we, uh, we need that little extra impetus. Emily's going to be an interesting race as well. Uh, if we do get the new front wing, I expect us to do very well uh, at Imola in comparison to how we've done in the last two races. We'll have a lot more downforce uh, and ability to follow in the dirty air. And uh, given how fast some of the corners are at Imola as well, how important the, uh, the downforce is going to be there. That could be uh, a very, very interesting race. we can get a couple of early positions and then uh, hang on the back of the front cars that could be quite nice for us but in reality I think our, our, our next real opportunity of points is gonna be Miami because we'll throw in some fresh engines from Miami or maybe Barcelona, one of those two. We'll see what condition the engines are in at Miami. And look at that, I mean, the snap and 26, 25 and a half seconds ahead of his teammate. He's just walking this one again. This is going to be an, uh, such a dominant season for, for him. And Red Bull haven't been threatened at all this weekend. They just run away with it. Comfortable 1-2 for them.
Just grab a little bit of battery. And then run up to the end of the lap. Right, ideally we'll stay behind Gasly here and then jump him on the main straight. I'm so glad I didn't take fuel out as well. We've barely saved any fuel no saving in required. this race. There's no way we'd have been able to uh, to do this race without fuel saving if we had taken a lap out at the start. We'd have been absolutely uh, nowhere on pace. Ready about to come under pressure from Bottas. He's still lapping about six, seven tenths of a second faster than Gasly, so he he should catch him before the end of the race. He'll be close. Ah, traps. There we go. That's the move done. Botter swarming all over the back of Vesti. So now we just need something dramatic to happen in front of us for us to gain two places. Some lift and coast will help that. Okay, probably. Safe fuel, safe fuel. Yeah, copy. Just make sure we don't lose out to Ricardo again. There's Gasly, with Ricardo in tow. Four laps to go. It's 
going to be a dramatic last couple of laps for uh, for Freddy here. Norris is hanging on to the back of Ocon really well here. I'm surprised he hasn't dropped further down the order. His tyres must be rubbish. Yeah, 35%. What's he actually managing to do? He's managing to do 122.6s. That's pretty impressive. Gasly gets himself past Ricardo. So the one stop has definitely not worked for uh, for Danny Rick. Has worked for Norris though. He is going to get points. I had a little bit more battery in Freddy's car speed. here. I think Bottas might have a look around the outside here. He's got me. God damn it. And they're so close. We just need to charge up. Yeah, probably. Looks like that was a position gained for Alfa Romeo. So one and a half laps left ready to try and get himself up three more places that's going to be a tall order Use energy if you need it, use energy. Perfect. This will be the last lap. Yeah, I'm not even going to get one. Oh, oh, oh. I thought for winner. a second we might have a run around the outside. We 
we have low batteries. Go on, late breaking. Oh, what a lunge at the last minute there from Bottas. Kept us in our position, and that's that's it. So 10th place for Felipe. It's going to be uh, a disappointing 14th for Freddy. So let's check flags. Difficult race. We're definitely in a in a in a midfield fight with McLarens and Alfa Romeos. We've got more pace than the Alpha Tauris, uh, the Haas and the Williams. We're just not quite there with the Ferraris, uh, the Alpines or the Mercedes. What an incredible outcome for Aston Martin's driver. Today, Aston Martin demonstrated that they can go very far indeed. Yes, there's definitely cause for celebration here. This team can take anything that's thrown at them and come through even stronger. God, you think we just won the and race? <laughs> we didn't even get a point. <laughs> at the end of this weekend. Now, the teams will be looking ahead to Imola, where the season progresses with the Emilia-Romagna Grand Prix. Get ready for some fierce competition. So, Russell and Leclerc, big winners in that, uh, claiming uh, an, a few positions from where they started. Norris making his one-stop work very nicely to gain five places. Alonso, running in third at one point, ends up dropping down to ninth. Stuck in a long battle with Lecle with uh, Carlos Sainz, and we just didn't quite have the pace to stay with that fight and get involved in it. Uh, and he finished 10 seconds off them in the end. It's not too bad. But a little bit more pace needed, I think. In the Drivers' Championship, Max extends his uh, winning streak and now takes the lead from Perez by two points. Hamilton holding on to third just as Leclerc closing the team down. We've got a three-way fight for third place at the moment. Leclerc... Not uh, Harris, uh, Harris, Hamilton, and Russell <laughs> all on 15 points. Uh, then you got Sainz and Norris on four. We're behind with Ocon on three, as well as Ricardo. Uh, yeah, it's going to be very, very tight for positions in the drivers' championship. Um, behind the two Red Bulls, they're going to finish one and two, I think, and then uh. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see who finishes third. It's, I think it's going to be between between Hamilton and Russell, given Ferrari's lack of pace that we've seen so far this season. I can only see uh, Mercedes getting stronger and Ferrari not improving as fast as the season progresses. In the Constructors' Championship, Red Bull now 24. Four points clear from Mercedes, who are 11 points clear of Ferrari. Uh, a couple more points from McLaren and uh, Alpine get their first points of the season. Uh, sees us drop down to sixth. Uh, but we are still on target to finish seventh or above. We are still outscoring Alpha Tauri, Williams, Alfa Romeo and Haas. That's good. Just need that little impetus to push us forward a little bit further. Uh, a decent haul of uh, experience points at the end of the race there. Uh, impressive for uh, for Freddie. Few overtakes, few defences, quite a lot of failed overtakes. Uh, a little bit better for uh, Felipe. Had an exceptional race. Very successful in his defending there, as you can see. Not quite enough to earn some points, but uh, not too far off. Let's get the housekeeping done for the next race oh we have actually picked up a bonus point for freddy excellent stuff so once again we're going to boost his braking and that boosts his overall rating up to 74. good stuff uh how far off is felipe he is a week away so he will have a point before we go to imola 
That is uh, excellent news. What about our staff? Uh, we've got a new point for Alessandro. So uh, we're going to be working on the underfloor next. So let's go ahead and let's see. DRS Delta is not really going to help us. Drag reduction would help us. Yeah, let's go drag reduction. Neither of our engineers has a point and they are still away off another point as well. Uh, let's check in with our pit crew. Up to 76 now on tyre changing. That's not too bad. They're making some progress. Uh, let's have a look at the car upgrades. Uh, so yeah, the front wing will drop in time for Imola. Uh, and then uh, once Imola is complete, uh, we'll have a new ATR period and then we can start work on our brand new underfloor. Let's check our inbox. So we're exceeding expectations from the board. Uh, oh, we've got the results of the uh, regulation vote. We voted for high speed downforce changes and that has passed. That's excellent. That's going to hurt um, Ferrari because their aero guy is uh, very much um, better at low speed than high speed. Uh, it's probably going to hurt Red Bull a little bit. Might even hurt uh, it's, uh, some of the other teams around us as well, like Alpine, uh, like McLaren. Uh, it's not really going to hurt Ferrari, uh, uh, sorry, um, Mercedes with Tondi in there. He is just, you know, exceptional across the board. There's a reason why I signed him in my Williams career. Right, let's advance some time, get that new front wing done. Uh, let's check our facilities as well. Can we get any... Uh, Upgrades or refurbs done. We are so close to the team hub dropping down a level. Can't do anything until it happens though. Operational facilities. Uh, boardroom's going to need a touch up soon. They're okay for now. Everything else is, uh, is pretty good. Uh, we're making some good money again. And again, we've got nothing to spend it on. We're going to end another season with a huge bank balance. But if it carries over into the start of next season, then uh, that'll be uh, that'll be good. Low stock on suspensions. Yeah, we're fine on those. Okay, so this is um, an important upgrade for us. We need this to be uh, good. We need this to have a, a really strong impact on the car. Let's refurb the team hub. That'll take 34 days. Oof. That's a long old refurb there. So, uh, we need to emergency at least three of these. We may as well go four. We've got the money. We can't spend it on facility upgrades for improving the car. So let's just go four emergency front wings. So we've got a spare for each driver. And just how much of an improvement is this going to make on our car? Not bad. We have uh, lost a little bit more... Um, performance to some of the other teams our acceleration has dipped compared to where we were uh, but we are now gaining quite nicely here with our uh, low and medium speed cornering performance in uh, in general pace and our dirty air performance is going to improve quite significantly in uh, low and medium speed that's excellent going to get a nice little boost to our brake cooling as well and our top speed at drs will also improve very nice very nice indeed. So there we go. That's where our car sits. Let's do a quick comparison. Looking at uh, the teams that we're fighting against. So we're in fight with McLaren. Their acceleration is terrible. 
and we've got a massive cornering advantage over them now in terms of downforce. Their brakes are also really bad in comparison to us. So I'm not worried about McLaren right now. Uh, let's take a look at uh, Ferrari. We're not too far off Ferrari. And again, we've now got a big advantage in terms of downforce generation over Ferrari. They do have a speed advantage over us. Uh, their brake and engine cooling is a lot better than ours as well, which will help keep them very competitive in the braking and uh, will look after their engine performance uh, better than ours as well. But yeah, that's where Ferrari are struggling at the moment, uh, is their cornering. Their downforce is just not there at the moment. That's why they're so slow compared to where they were last season. Uh, let's have a look at Mercedes on paper we've actually got a better car than Mercedes we've got better speed better acceleration much better cornering better brakes they've got a better engine than us but that's it if we had drivers of, of a higher caliber we would be faster than Mercedes comfortably faster than Mercedes uh, so that's encouraging to see uh, an Alpine pulled out a, a strong qualifying performance last time out let's see what they will have going into this Grand Prix uh, a very quick car seventh and third uh, but again we've got the advantage in the corners they've got a very good DRS as well look fifth in speed first in acceleration in DRS and uh, just so we can see just where the uh, <laughs> where the class leaders are. Let's take a look at Red Bull. Yeah, they're dominating pretty much every category there. And in terms of the speed, that is quite significant in terms of top speed. That's a big, big difference. We're not too far off them in terms of uh, G-force levels for cornering. As you can see. But that, yeah, that car is just very, very quick. And when you combine that with, you know, uh, drivers of the caliber of Perez and Verstappen, it's no wonder that they're dominating so far this season. Right. Uh, this is where we're going to leave it for tonight. Uh, we're nicely set up to do our performance targets and uh, go racing at Imola. And then uh, in the next session, and uh, once the race is done, we will be able to start work on a brand new uh, underfloor, which will hopefully be able to squeeze in somewhere around about uh, Baku. If we can get it for Baku, I'll be very, very happy. We shall see. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to do Williams. We're going to pick up our uh, Season 3 with Williams. Uh, and then uh, Monday will also be Williams. And then Tuesday we'll be back with our Challenge Mode career. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, as always, I'm Jim Bob. And I will see you all again very soon.